Okay, uh, let's look at percent increases and what percent increases and percent decreases too have to do with exponential growth and decay. So pretend you have a thousand dollars in a savings account that in increases by two percent every year. So they don't just give you your 2% of interest, they just invest it back in the account. So in subsequent years, you'll get 2% of the bigger value. So it's uh, compound interest. So let's fill in the table and write a function that gives the balance B as a function of T. So yeah, T equals zero means right when you invest it. T equals one means one year later. So let's figure out how to get this. Um, what you could do is start with your $1,000 and then add the interest that you get to that. Um, and you can think of that as 1,000 times 2% because remember 2% you'd write as 0 0.02 as a decimal if you wanna do arithmetic with it. So, that's the original balance here plus the interest. So uh, you could do it that way uh, and you'll get um, 1,000 plus 2% 2 of 1,000 will come out to be uh, $1,020. So that's that. Now there's another way you could do this which we're gonna wanna do to see how the rest of this works. So that we can think of this as an exponential thing, we want to think of it instead of doing addition, like the previous balance plus your interest, let's see if we can just write this as one big multiplication thing. Because with exponential functions, you want to write it so that you're always multiplying by the same thing every time one year goes by. But the question is, what is that growth factor that you're multiplying by? So let's see how you can do that. So what I would do is you have a common factor of a thousand here you can take out. And what would you have left over that you can distribute that 1000 into? Well, 1000 times one will give you that 1000 and then 1000 times 0 0.02 gives you the 2% times a thousand. And you can also multiply this, or sorry, you could just combine it and say 1 plus 0 0.02 is the same as 1,000 times 1.02, uh, because that's what 1 plus 0 0.02 is. So um, the moral of the story here, and the idea you want to get here is that increasing something by 2% is the same thing as multiplying it by 1.02. Uh, 1.02, by the way, is also known as 102%. So this is kind of saying that your balance after one year is 102% of the balance before. Uh, and so let's see if we keep doing that, if we say I'm gonna take this previous result here and multiply this one by, uh, to figure out what goes here, multiply that by 1.02. We could do 1,020 multiplied by that 1.02 again. That should give you 102% of 1,020, which is the same thing by as increasing it by 2%. Um, so, uh, you could just multiply that way uh, with a calculator and you'll get uh, 1,040.4, which by the way is the name of the tax form you have to fill out uh, whenever you have any kind of income. So that's that. Another way you could do this is you could just say, well, this original 1,020 is equal to 1,000 times 1.02, and say we've got 1,000 times 1.02 there is equal to that, and then we're just multiplying this by another 1.02 here. So you could think of it as 1,000 times 1.02 squared, 
because you've increased it by 2% twice, and that should get you the same thing. And it does. So let's uh, keep going with this, either thinking of it as multiplying each time by 1.02, or just doing 1,000 times that 1.02 to the power whatever it is. Uh, so to the power 3 here, whoops, I'm going to take that previous entry and just replace that 2 with a 3. And you get 1,061 and 21 cents. And then second entry to get the previous entry, replace that three here with a four, and you get 1,082 and 43 cents. So anyways, um, the growth factor that we're looking for is 1.02. So when you know the starting amount, when t equals zero, um, and you know the growth factor, we can write this as b equals a times b to the t, but the a is 1,000, and the b to the power t becomes 1.02 to the power t. So that is a formula for b in terms of t. And here is an exercise for you to try. I'll try filling in the blanks here. I'll give you a little hint. The percentage is always like the R here. Um, so that percentage means R, but make sure you write it as a decimal if you're gonna actually do any math with it. Um, and the B is equal to one plus R if we're talking about using a times b to the t. So I'll write that like so. So uh, I'll let you do this. So I'll just check your answers when you turn it in in class and see you later.